Do you want to know how trying to help someone can hurt them? Then A Voracious Grief by Lindsay Lamb is a book for you. Death stalks the Bancroft family. Only Ambrose and Matty remain after close family members pass. The siblings return to London after their period of mourning. London carries with it many remembrances of the departed. Ambrose wants to re-enter society by going to soirees. But Matty is resistant as Matty wants to remain secluded. Ambrose wants the best for Matty and tries to get Matty to re-enter society. Ambrose thinks that re-entry is what is best for Matty, that re-entry would make Matty happy. But wanting what is best for someone is not the same as what is best for someone. Matty knows that Ambrose loves Matty and understands that Ambrose is only trying to help. But the more Ambrose presses decisions onto Matty, the more Matty becomes frustrated, leading to Matty's betrayal of Ambrose and going back to Linwood Manor. Matty has discovered a secret within Linwood, a way for Matty to not feel the burden of grief. A realm that enables Matty's fantasies, for Linwood is connected to a realm beyond the physical. In the physical realm, Ambrose witnesses Matty's health decline, wants to help Matty, but the only way to help Matty would be to listen to Matty, to follow Matty into the realm. A realm that appears to want to help Matty, but Ambrose sees how the realm hurts Matty. Can Ambrose save Matty even if Matty does not listen to Ambrose? This is a story of grief the power of listening and letting loved ones make their own decisions. Some caveats for the book includes that the reader needs to be emotionally prepared for the topics. Character interactions reflect genuine choices and thoughts, but they can be misunderstood by those who have not gone through the same emotional experiences. The character's values reflect their era, which can make certain decisions and interactions that are significant appear insignificant, odd, or wrong to those without a cultural reference. Till the next review.